Capri has always been at the top of my list for places to see. So when I was on MSC World Europa recently and Naples was on the cruise itinerary, this was my chance. I booked a tour to Capri with MSC Cruises, but what I wanted to find out was, did I make the right decision or how easy would it have been to experience Capri on my own? So let's find out. Pack my things up carefree Adventures waiting I'm heading out, heading out to see the rest of the world Yeah, yeah Good morning! So here we are in Naples and today we've got a wonderful excursion I've never been before, always wanted to go is the Isle of Capri so we're just waiting here for our 50 minute boat ride over to the beautiful island We've just disembarked uh, MSC World Europa. 10 minute walk over uh, to here, and what an adventure this is going to be. £105 per person booked with MSC before we got on board. Can't wait to share, with, share today with you. I will catch all of you later. On this pre booked excursion, the tour guide was waiting for us outside the ship and led us to a 10 minute walk here to the ferry terminal ready to leave for our 50 minute journey to Capri. The ferry tickets were included in the excursion. If you were to do this trip on your own, then these ferries depart every 30 to 45 minutes and prices are roughly about 23 pounds return, which I would recommend that you pre-book. Capri, an island of course in the Bay of Naples, is one of Italy's hidden gems. Renowned for its celebrity clientele, designer shops, stunning views and of course, Lemoncello. The ferry crossing was smooth and even from inside the ferry at first glimpse of the Marina Grande, it looked spectacular. Once on dry land, you can instantly see why Capri is so special. The Marina Grande does have some small beaches, but as this is the only entrance for the ferries, this busy port hosts an array of bars, shops, restaurants and ticket offices where you can buy tickets to the Blue Grotto and also the Funicular. First, to follow our guide to our waiting shuttle bus, our first stop is a 20 minute drive to the bus terminal, which is a 10 minute flat walk to the main square called the Piazzetta. If you are on your own and not part of a tour, then you could also take the funicular from the Marina Grande, which will take you to the Piazzetta for €2.40 each way, takes about 15 minutes, but be prepared to queue in high season. Once off the bus, we follow our tour guide along via Roma to the Piazzetta, the main square, and it takes about 10 minutes. The square itself hosts the largest church on the island, Santa Stefano, and the town hall of Capri. Add stunning artwork, luxurious hotels and designer shops, bars, incredible views of the island, and I have to say, one of the best pizzas I've ever had. This square is truly wonderful. After a wonderful 90 minutes in the Piazzetta, it's back down via Roma to the bus for our 15 minute drive to the bus terminal in Anna Capri. I had free time here, so I headed straight to the Monticellero chairlift, where at the top offers a 360 degree panoramic view of Capri. I am on my way on the cable car in Anna Capri. 521 meters above sea level. The views at the top 
are going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, absolutely amazing. It's 60 minutes in the cable car right to the top of the mountain with the most amazing views. Now, if you've been to Capri, then you've probably done this cable car ride in Capri. It's 14 euros return and it's 16 minutes each way. If you're afraid of heights, then <laughs> I'm not sure this, this is for you. But look at that view. Might be a bit wobbly because I'm clinging on to dear life on, on this cable car chair. Absolutely loving it. But 14 euros return. I think that's really good for 16 minutes there, 16 minutes back. Beautiful views at the top. And also there is a bar as well that sells lemon chair. When in, when in Capri. Capri is beautiful, isn't it? If you've been, you'll absolutely love it, I'm sure. Definitely love to go again. Um, it's given me a real taste of it. We've just had a nice pizza, again, when in Capri. Now, if travelling independently, you can catch a bus from the main square up to Anna Capri, just a few metres outside the entrance to the stairlift, and it's €2.40 Euros 40 each way. Now the view here on the top of Montsolaro extends across the whole of the island surrounding Bay of Naples and the Amalfi coastline. At the very top a glass of Savibi to take in those wonderful views was just the ticket. Sadly an hour later it was back down the chairlift uh, to Anna Capri for a little look round the shops before heading back to the port to catch the ferry back to Naples. I've absolutely loved it and I'm so glad for my first time I booked this shore excursion. It gave me the feel of Capri but it also allowed me to learn about doing it independently and it would have cost me just £45 including the transport and the tickets to the chairlift if I'd have done it on my own. Now the day wouldn't have been complete without a little sing song on the way back to the port plus I finally had the chance to have my lemon cello spritz. Enjoy. Good boss, huh? <laughs> <laughs>